Welcome guys, today we are going to learn some of the image processing using OpenCV like how to crop an image, how to resize it and how to change the color space of an image. So for that I need an image file. So this is the image file right now in my current directory and I am going to use it in my program. So first of all I need to read it from my program. And for that I will import the OpenCV library and then I will write image equals to and then I will use I am read function and inside this function I will provide the name of the image which I want to read which is flower.jpg and once I read it I can display it on the screen using I am show function so here I will write cv2 dot I am show and inside it the first argument is the name of the window and the second argument is the image which I want to display it after that I will use wait key function and as an argument I will provide 0 because I want to display the image as long as I want and at the end I will use cv2.destroyAllWindows to destroy the window and if I run it now I will get the image on my screen. Now the first thing we are going to learn is how to crop an image. Cropping simply means to remove some of the part of the image which we don't want. In one of my previous video I told you that when we read an image using I am read function it is converted into a matrix having number of rows and columns. So if we want to remove some of the part from the image we will remove some of the rows and columns. But first of all we need to know how many number of rows and columns are there in our image. So for that I will write print. And inside this print function, I will write image.shape. This will provide me the size of the image, that is the number of rows and columns we have in the image. Now if I run it, in the console window, if I can show you, I get the size of the image as a tuple. Here 533 is the number of rows and 800 is the number of columns we have in the image. And the 3 tell us that there are 3 channels in the image. Now if you want to crop the image, let's say I need only the left half portion of the image. It means we need all the rows and left half of the columns. So here I will write crop image equals to and then I will write image. Inside the bracket I will write colon and then I will give comma and then I will specify the number of columns I need because I need the left half portion so the columns will be from 0 till 400 so here I will write 401 to display this crop image I can use another I am show function and if I run it I will get a crop image this one in the similar way if we want the lower half of the image it means I need all the columns but only lower half of the rows. So here as I need all the columns so I will just write colon and to specify the rows I will first of all provide the middle row which is 533 divided by 2. And I need to convert it into integer. And from there I will go to the end. And if I run it, I will get the lower half of the image. This is how cropping is done. Now the next thing we are going to learn is how to resize an image. Resizing simply means to change the size of the image, you can increase it as well as you can decrease it. To resize the image, OpenCV provides us with a function name as resize. So here I will write resize image equals to cv2.resize and this will take two arguments. The first one is the actual image and the second one is the size of the image in terms of width and height which we want. Right now the width of our actual image is 800. If I want to increase it, I can write 900 here. If you want to increase it more, you can give a bigger number. And the height of our image is 533. 
I can write here 600 if I want to increase it. Now here I need to change the variable name. And let's change the window name as well. Now if I run the program, I will get a bigger image. So this is how we can resize any image. You can decrease the size as well in the similar way. Now the last thing we are going to learn is how to change the color space of an image. Color space is basically a way to represent the color channel of an image. To change the color space, OpenCV provides us with a function which is called CVT color. So here I will write new image equals to and then I will use CVT color function from OpenCV and this will take two argument. The first one is the actual image and the second one is the conversion type. By default, whenever we read an image using OpenCV, it provides us the image in BGR format. So if we have to convert it from BGR. Now let's say I want to convert it into grayscale. So for that, I will write cv2.color underscore BGR to gray. And this will convert my image into grayscale. And now I need to change the variable here. And let's change the window name as well. Now let's run the code. Now you can see we get a grayscale image. This one. And this is the BGR image. In the similar way, I can convert it into some other color space. Let's say I want to convert it into HSV. So for that here, I will write HSV. And if I run the code, I will get an HSV image. This is how we can change the color space of any image. One more thing I can tell you that OpenCV supports more than 250 color space. You can use them as well in the similar way. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.